Rebecca has a great question. Uh, I use stream videos and forums for my flipped lessons. Uh, so she's in the EDU sector. I'm working through some uh, Microsoft Learn modules and just read this. Here's the quote. Record one video, upload it to stream, and use forums to insert questions into the video. This procedure allows students to pause and reflect on what they're learning before they watch more. I've used this. I've done this. It's been around for a long time. I, I love she it. She says, I do the opposite, where like, she doesn't want people to learn and to reflect, apparently. No. <laughs> uh, I do the opposite, where I create a form and upload short videos into each section. My method gives me one form with all the answers in one place, and I would like to know if you add forms to a stream video in different places, do you end up with many different forms? If this is the case, is there a way to consolidate the forms data into one document? So I can answer this. One, to separate it, yes, you would have to have multiple forms. Unfortunately, no way around that, right? However, can you consolidate the data into one place? Yes, because as when you fill out a form, you can actually connect, you can create a list instead of just getting it through the Excel format behind the form, right? So you can create a SharePoint list with all of the fields of the information that you're wanting to fill out. And then you can use Power Automate to map those fields to that SharePoint list. So your first form, whatever questions they are, you map them to that SharePoint list. The second form, you map them to the same list with those to those columns and so on and so forth. So that all the answers end up in one SharePoint list. So that works great. I've done a ton of workshops, you name it, on that type of scenario. However, 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 stuff is changing. However, however, works great as it is, but we all know that there's a big stream migration going on from OneDrive and whatnot to SharePoint. One of the things that is not fully baked, and Sherry, you can back me up on this, add some information to it. One of the things that is not fully baked is how the forms integrate into that right now. Okay. Sherry, yeah. Yeah. I know there's a lot of feedback. And, and <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of feedback that's been shared with Microsoft about exactly this scenario. Yeah, because right. because people want to be able to do this and this is a real world thing. And the biggest frustration for me is that when you have a multi select. Item in your form, it populates into that Excel spreadsheet as a common delimited value, and it does the same thing in a SharePoint list. So it's really hard to get a roll up view when you have multi select. You have to break it apart, put it back together for, you know, just using layman's terms. And that's no joke. So there's. If you have any kind of multi-choice, it makes it a little bit more difficult to capture that in a list. But I'm hoping going forward, they find a better way to improve that process and the whole thing, the whole process in general, because it's it is a little clunky. I'm with yeah. you. I do flip training as well, you know, flip classroom training, and I want them to be able to, you know, here is the form, here's a little video. Now here's a form, a little video. Now, if you could put the video in the form so that they're watching the video as they're going through it. Now that would be cool, but that's not an option yet. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I don't care how they do it. Form, video, video, form. It comes to the same output. Just right. my, my perspective. My issue is the fact that they're changing how it works from, you know, it was embedded into stream, then it went to OneDrive, and now it's all going to SharePoint, and our connections are going to be broke for anything we built previously around that. Yep. Yep. And there's going to, you know, there's going to be a lot of work for us in the next year or so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and and we all know the migration tool is not 100% as it is, and it hasn't been, and they don't project that the migration tool is going to be 100% until almost May, but yet, you know, drop dead dates, what, uh, October or whatever? I mean, something crazy when they don't even have a fully built functional tool. Yep. Has anybody used uh, leveraged Sway and done integrations with forms and the videos content? Because I, I believe you have I the haven't. same problem. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. but I've not with I forms, think be no. exact, Yeah, yeah, exact same problem, Christian. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. So, Bummer. but that's uh, I always like to bring up because nobody talks about Sway. It is a full fledged member of the office suite, people. Well, and I, I, 
always promote that is like um, digital brochures, you know, make them. And I've seen it used well. And I was looking at one yesterday. I'm like, who did this? This is terrible. There's a lot of dead space in it. So, yeah, you got to know what you're doing. In order to... So newsletters, yeah. I promote a lot to my clients that use newsletters and they use third party utilities for newsletters. I'm like, you know, you already pay for it. Sway. And they're like, well, how do I use it? And I, I give them a quick tour because I don't use Sway myself. Right. Because I don't have a function for it in my day to day. Right. But I was like, hey, here's the things you can do. I know enough to write my A to Z series. Right. And so, you know, I'm like showing them, getting the brief overview, whatnot. And then they're like, oh, my God, this solves the problems that I've been having with this other tool. It comes down to they just don't know what it's fully capable of. But uh, but, yeah, you just have to introduce it. I think once you introduce it in the right way, people find it more beneficial, but it, to yeah. the right people. I, I know it's a separate topic, Becca, but, uh, you know, just in case, just wanted to throw it in there for a little, you know, color commentary on, you know, uh, other products that we never talk about. But it's kind of a, you know, it's the same problem, same, same non-answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's we great. answered yeah. It's great. It's a great tool. I love it for what it does, but it only caters to a very small portion of most companies.